How's the Matt Bro replacement? Yeah, not too bad. Right, hello. Welcome back to the channel. Before we get into today's video, we'd really appreciate it if you could all hit subscribe. And if you enjoy the video, give it a thumbs up. If you've got any questions about what you see in today's video or just about the ch channel in general, then leave it down below. And Apple's will get back to as quick as he can. <laughs> yeah. You can also follow us on our social media accounts. And we've also got merch available on www.farninfreshshop.com. So, today we are currently in the white van. The van. And we are heading off to the second cattle farm. Then we'll be going back to the main cattle farm and feeding some of the fat stock. We actually had six go this morning. Hopefully get a feedback on them later on. Hopefully they've done it right. Right, so just got here. Jam is spotted. This is your latest bunch, isn't it? It is. There's, yeah, well, there's a 12 here, isn't there? There is. The other ones are just up there. Which we'll show you in a second. These have just gone on to one feed a day, haven't they? Yeah. <laughs> right, so um, this is our like Solaire pen, but we've just let them out a few days ago. They won't need any silage for a bit. We are feeding them still a bit of um, bit of barley, which we've been doing all winter, just to sort of keep them in, keep them coming into the yard for whenever we need to get them in. Hopefully you can see that. There you are. Looking pretty happy. So that's still around, but yeah, so we're feeding still a bit of barley just to keep them in. Get them used to still coming into the yard. But, because we have got, I think we've got a tracer test on them at some point. Sorry about the wind if you can't hear me too well, but hopefully it'll be right. So I'll grab the Manitou with the barley, bucket some of that in. Got to chuck some in for... Right, so they've all come straight in. I was saying they're a bit like skittish, but the Solaires aren't actually that bad anymore. The worst ones are the sh probably the Charolais. Like sort of, yeah, being a little bit like jumpy when you're around. But yeah, the Solaires aren't too bad now. They're fed up. We've got plenty of silage there. We've got the grass, so they're good. Just go over there, chuck some buckets in for James' calves, and then um, be nearly a wrap here. <laughs> Fed them up. That's that done now. It's easier with two of us here. Obviously, I can do mine, and you can do the salers. We still got a fair pile of silo here, so we got a fair stack here for next winter. So, we're gonna have to get the numbers up here a bit. Yeah. Hopefully, it should stay all right here. If it's on so the gravel. There was a few which had a few rats. Yeah. If we're lucky. If we're lucky, it will stay like it is, and we can feed it on. Like I said earlier, we had six fat bullocks go this morning um, and so obviously we took them out the fat pen and we put them in like near where the race is and we've got a few different groups of cattle around at the minute we have, we've got like a little bunch there another bunch here with some new ones that have just come in and where those fat bullocks were last night it got quite mucky so um we're just going to chuck two bales of straw in there this afternoon just to keep them clean let's fire her up and let's get on one of the bullocks that actually went this morning seemed to be uh, quite wild, but he had never really been like it before. But when we seen him out yesterday, he actually jumped the gate. So, um, yeah, he was a bit flighty this morning. We had three of us down here to uh, load him up just to have a bit of control over him and stop him from doing anything drastic like that again. 
two bells that we're putting in are two little bales. They're actually two years old, the bales. Two seasons old. I don't think we we need to put the flap up. It's a little tidlet. I do. Probably fit another one across the back, across the side. Be quite a smart job. How's the map row replacement? Yeah, not too bad. Living the muck, or living the cattle dream. At least it's got a hammering, that helps. Yeah, but at least you haven't tried to load fertilizer with the bloody map row. Yeah, true. That's bait. You've probably seen we got the Terex down here, that's because we had a puncher on the map row a couple days ago. So that's been fixed, but. I think we'll, we're going to take advantage of having two, two telehandlers down here. I'm going to feed up spuds and barley whilst James is going to quickly scrape the yard because we haven't been able to do it for a while because it's been dry and you can't, it like, it just doesn't scrape away when it's all dried out. So um, he's going to scrape that, hopefully. It'll work out quite right, but we'll finish at the same time. Here, which are looking like they want some food to feed up. Looks like the straw chopper man be blowing some straw in the, in the water troughs. So they empty that out for him. Keep that nice and clean. But yeah, so we're getting there. I'll go feed those up and then um, I'll, be, I'll be job done down here. Should hopefully have some cool Trying stuff, to, yeah. yeah, some like moving cat, taking some cattle out. We haven't actually done a lot of that because of splub, 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 <laughs> spud planting. But now that's all wrapped up, we can get on with our cattle jobs, getting some of them out and then mucking all the sheds out, all that. Razzmatazz. Then we'll be on silage. Silage, so all that coming up. Keep following the channel. If you're not subscribed already, don't forget to like and subscribe. You're almost at 7k, so. Yeah, hey. I'm getting cool. Hello? Ben's just taking his wellies off. Right, so that's it for today's video. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoy my videos. Good videos coming up, hopefully. And yeah, get your Farmer Bros merch, farmerbroshop.com. And yeah, we'll catch you in the next one. Thank you for watching. See you later.